over here on the front end of the Silverado. We got one here on the tie rod. I'll just clean it off, stick the gun on, give it one to two pumps, probably gonna give it one. Aftermarket control arms, we got another one, and of course two on the other side. And that's it for these 1500s. They made everything non-serviceable, so. Yeah, believe it or not, on these newer trucks, everything's like non-serviceable unless you buy like an HD. So that's all we pretty much have to do. It's actually pretty easy to service this truck when it comes to grease and stuff. If other stuff dries out, you just replace the part and, you know, go after market so then you have a grease fitting on it. All right, we're about to pump a jam right now. I got it on there. About to pump it. One. There's two. There's one. That should do the trick. Yeah, be sure to use a microfiber if you don't want to scratch the inner tie rod. Oh, sweet hallelujah. Come on. Is it off? Pump her up. There's one. Oh, okay. These are rough country Ford steel up control arm. They're a lot thicker, beefier, and almost as thick and beefy as the lower control arm. There we go. We're done. Let's drop this. We'll have a full axle Chevy 1500, and then it'll also sit like level as can be. Don't rip on me. The last gloves I got on. All right, let's open the hood and get to the brain surgery. Yep. You got to put those built thousand horsepower engines up here, and you got to put an engine that never lets you down like right here. So 5W30, full synthetic. We got the same truck. And then we got the power steering over here. Ow, let's get her in there. Yeah, what I forgot today was a ladder. Fortunately, we don't have that today, but we do have a three-month three tire to step on by Toyota. It's not a sponsorship, it's just made in the USA. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Prob prob probably think so. <laughs> well, that should be good for that. Yeah, clean this side off pretty well. There we go. Cap off right now. Okay, looking halfway decent there. You got, you gotta, gotta get it in there. Okay. Oil's looking a little bit dark. We better get a change before we ever leave this place. Deserted island. That cap off for now. Hey, how's it going? So we're here under the truck. Uh, I hope everyone's having a great day. This is where I usually hang out. Keep under here sometimes. Probably gonna wipe it off. Forgot I left everything in. Hello. We got a filter. We got some brake clean. We got oil filter tool. We're gonna need that for this. I think they're magnetic, so I need to still get a magnetic bolt. Kind of like how they don't have a drain plug on the rear dip. Okay. You guys get in this? Ooh, prepare yourself. You know, sometimes you just gotta walk down the way, like walk this way from Aerosmith on any type of given day, you know what I'm gonna say? Next, you know, nuclear reactions are a type of uh, complex of uh, structures inside of biofuel diesel plants that cause compromised ionization in the upper atmosphere due to reclaim inside the, you know what I'm saying? When you get on the battlefield in 1935, in the year 1935, before Xbox 360 was created, you got creatine inside of your eye sockets boring through, uh, you know, mine shafts and mine craft, you know what I'm saying? So if you get this message, uh, just leave us a call at one 800 at t uh, bell telephone service.com. Harrisburg is west of us. Thank you. Goodbye. All right, well, here goes nothing. There it is. We should be good. There it is. Black tar. Look at that. Black gold right there. There it goes. Hot, hot. Ah. All right, bolts off. Right. There she go. Thanks for the help. And we're cleaning up the bolt right now. It's down to the little spritzers now. Well needed. Consistently shift. Out here in the backwoods. Thought we would have just dumped it in the ground, but we don't do that. So I'm going to put the bolt back up in here. About what it was. Now I bought a torque wrench. Got that I don't have a half an inch kit and these are the three fourths kit. Now I'm for the oil filtration. Ow, man, that oil is hot. Oil. Laying the other way down, gosh darn it. Turntable to the left table. Turntable to the left table. The radio is falling down my hands. Oh, oh man, that's hot. Oh my gosh, how many threads do they put on here? More threads than a shirt. Do, do, do. And there it is. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Hey, how you want a handshake, man? I think I'm not wearing these till tomorrow at the gym. Cast iron. Oh yeah. Got the new oil filter here, SDP. Good for 5,000 millas, millas, miles. Look at that sucker right there. It looks bigger than the other one. Take this thing off. Get it around the band. Good thing I got this rag. Honestly, this rag is saving my life. This thing's gonna be with you for a while. It's gonna save your engine. Let's get her back up. <laughs> the right one, man. I was thinking, you know, it wasn't the right one, but. And there it is. I'm really gonna tighten it though because I don't trust my tightening because last time it leaked up. <sighs> Leaked last time, so there we go. All right, 
I'm gonna try to get this filter out and dry it off on my raggy. About to go through the Loch Ness Monster to get through it. Look at all that. Oh man. Wait, I think I saw it. There it is. That was easy. Drain all that out. It's still hot. There it is. Yeah, that was my impression of 3D. Made in USA. Everything else is sheared off by the oil. And there it is. The rest of it with all your might. And one day, your LaTeX glove will also look like it's covered in must. Oh, it's a Wix filter, yeah. Just like I said it was. From the last oil change back in the winter months. The winter months. There we go. So with these old filters, you just clean them off. Get yourself an STP box. Throw her on in. And call it a night. Guess we'll battlefield bike it out real quick. No. Come on. I'm taking a fucking video. Dude, come on. Dude, Dude what, what time... Did uh, the star line <laughs> enter the Caribbean? <laughs> Page altrock993.com. It's balling out. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yep, just letting everybody know I'm selling my muffler for my truck. Brand new condition, actually. It's a Flowmaster Super 10 series. Brand new, only about a thousand miles on it. Falling out once again. There it is, passing the Cabela's, finally. Almost to the mountainside, what do you have to say? I've been driving for an hour and like, can't wait to freaking finally get out of here. <laughs> get up on the mountain. Hey, how's it going? Here I am, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Nature hiker Jordan this year. Um, as you can tell, I enjoy uh, going on beautiful hikes like this. And also enjoy many other athletic sports as well as going to college and just uh, getting my degree. So thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't see there. How's it going? Yeah, search for the battery truck. That can't be it because, to my conclusion. Yeah, I think, I think this is Canada. So where are you going now? Took the Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. My, my, Miss American Pie. Let's clean out sludge, less the Royals leave behind. Benz oil, and then I'm gonna all here to fill the rest. And I already got my cap off, but I put my giant funnel here, it's not metal. Pour it on in. Now if it was still the 70s vehicles, there'd be enough room that I could just keep this in the engine bed. Nope, 90% plastic now. It's new, too little room. Yeah, let's get that on out of there and clean her on. <laughs> Give her a good one, so yep. Don't forget about the cap, it's important. Where's that? Someone's chopping up the forest over there. Feels like I'm in Florida. If you look behind me, it kind of does look like Florida, does All right, but it's Pennsylvania, so let's, let's get the rest of this over. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at that right there. Balancing pretty good if I do say so myself. Pay attention. All right. Yeah, I know you got an exhaust, so do I. Let's see if she'll start up now with the new oil. We got it. Oil changed. So it says 38, I just turned the engine off, so we got the engine light. Press the accelerator pedal three times, and we're out 100%. And that's how you change the oil on a lifted truck. A lot easier because you don't need jacks. You don't need a paved road. Just do it out here in the woods. A lot better. Thanks for watching. Make sure to dispose your oil at like a local auto zone or at your shop. That will dispose it properly. You don't want to just throw that stuff out. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Have a good one out there. Keep on trucking along. All right, first you want to start it up. Then you want to put your foot on the clutch, shift it in the first, and you're ready to roll. Okay. And i uh, about to install my new steering wheel cover. Repaired. See, I fully sewed it up, fixed her on up, and cleaned her up, scrubbed her down pretty well, and the steering wheel, of course. And cover. That's pretty good. So, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely one of the worst sewers out there. But, hey, we got the job done. Look at that. 
Keep trucking along. Love you guys. Have a nice day. Guys, so last update I wanted to make is, oh no. The update I wanted to make is that I went to the dealership and I got a 27 point inspection. We got state and emissions inspection, which they might go away in PA. Tire rotation, which I need after my oil change. And lastly, the biggest thing is that they removed, check it out, my weight class sticker. So I have a year inspection. So we are good to go. On the truck squared weight inspection, route tire rotation and this, I mean, it's amazing today. Oh yeah, I also took off that ugly easy pass you can see from the windshield from a distance. Great day for a barbecue, you know? So check this out, ethanol free unleaded gasoline. Sweet. What's up? So yeah, just finish things off here. We are here at the view. And yeah, congratulations on that graduation. So yeah, let me check the time. All right, cool. Probably about two hours. We finally got that oil change. Took a long time, but it's, it's good that it's done. And uh, yeah, it's a lot easier. I've noticed that it's a lot easier to do on a 1500 than it is an HD 2500, 3500, 4500, 5500. I don't know actually how the 4500, 5500s are, but I know 2500, 3500, it is a lot harder. We're pretty high up right now. I'm actually on a low point of it. Yep. We're hours out in the mountainside. Yeah, a long way back. It'll take you up to the highest peaks. Pretty scared, aren't you? Werewolves. Oh no. Yo, <laughs> where did that go? $200 glasses. Two hundred dollars. There's people camping up at the observatory, and you're gonna work there one day. Nope. So I'd say next moves, um, probably within the next couple months. We have some. I have some things planned for the vehicle. It's pretty cool. Definitely tune in for that. Subscribe. Yeah. Like. <clears throat> what? Big baller over here with this five hundred dollar pair of binoculars. Yeah.